This is our video on Tyrannosaurus Rex locomotion. My name is Laura. I'm Mariana. I'm Eric. Our research paper was about dinosaur locomotion. The researcher mainly focused on analyzing bone structure of the Tyrannosaurus Rex and how the anatomy of the dinosaur determined its movement and behavior. Some background info on the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The dinosaur was a theropod dinosaur that lived throughout the western North America. Its fossils date back to the Upper Cretaceous period. The dinosaur was bipedal, meaning it walked on two feet. It was a carnivore that was at, at its time at the top of its food chain. It could reach up to about 40 feet long and 15 to 20 feet tall, which is, it, it was compared to the size of a school bus. It couldn't run, but could walk at about 15 miles per hour, which is very fast for animals of that size and it used its five-foot skull as, as another mode of attack. So the questions being tested are, how did the body structure of the Tyrannosaurus rex allow it to move, and how did the locomotion affect the way it behaved? The researcher of this paper used computer animation and simulation to recreate locomotion of the Tyrannosaurus rex. The paleobiologists that studied the T-Rex also used different methods of analysis to compare to their computer animations which allowed them to come up with their best conclusion. They used comparisons of T-Rex to other large animals that are still alive today which may have moved in a similar manner to the T-Rex. Studying their bone structure may have helped determine how the Tyrannosaurus moved. They also used fossil footprints to determine the size of the muscles and legs of the Tyrannosaurus based on the footprints they left behind. Bone scaling was used to determine how the body shape of the dinosaur increased as it became older. This helped the paleobiologists figure out that the Tyrannosaurus were not as athletic as their kin. Studying functional morphology allowed the biologists to be practical when placing bones in different places because it allowed them to see which bones could have which function. Other biologists made biomechanical models of dinosaurs to see how they would behave, and so these paleobiologists were able to compare these models to their computer models. This is a video demonstrating the best hypothesis of T-Rex locomotion the paleobiologists could come up with. It is called the stride hypothesis. The stride hypothesis explains the concept of a complete locomotive stride. The complete stride includes a stance phase and a swing phase. The stance phase induces what is called a GRF, or ground reaction force, which is basically the ground creating an equal force to that of the T-Rex. The swing phase is comprised of the mid-stance phase, where the GRF is vertical, and the late stance phase, where the GRF pushes the dinosaur back off the ground and reaccelerates it. This picture shows the various layouts of the hind limb that the T-Rex could have had. There was a wide range of hip heights that the T-Rex could have had, but only a few of them were logical when it came to bone function. This shows the bone placement during each stage of the complete locomotive stride. It can be seen that the early stance is when the foot first hits the ground, and the swing stance is when the dinosaur is pushing its leg back off the ground to accelerate itself. The GRF reacts to the power of the T-Rex and allows it to cover great distance with each stride. In this image, three potential stances for T-Rex knees are shown. It is unlikely that stances A and B are the correct T-Rex stance because A would not provide as much power to the leg and B would probably cause harm to the dinosaur because of overbending of the knee. Stance C is the most likely stance the T-Rex used because the GRF would be most effective at pushing the dinosaur forward. The T-Rex structure had its advantages. Its strong thighs allowed it a speed advantage over other large animals, and its large head made it easy to bash into its prey. The sharp teeth that the T-Rex had were used to pierce prey and allow it to eat the animals. Because it had such small forelimbs, the T-Rex had to use its other features to their full advantage to remain a top predator. In conclusion, there is an element of uncertainty in the reconstructions, but they can help determine the least probable manners of Tyrannosaurus locomotion. This means that this is the most likely stance a T-Rex took while walking. 
After considering different bone structures and layouts, it was concluded that the stance that allowed the GRF to be most effective is the most logical stance. However, there is still room for improvement, and the paleobiologists now hope to figure out the muscle size and structure on the leg.